All right, ladies and gents, you should be on page 67 of Springboard. Remember yesterday we completed activity 113, so you should have written your perfect statement down on that blue bookmark regarding activity 113. If you didn't, do it now. While you are maybe taking care of that, some of you may or may not, new activity means new purpose statement. Are we still talking to the speech? Can we know with our embedded assessment what we're going to be doing is creating a definition essay about the concept of a hero. So what is heroism to us? We know we have to use the definition strategies. Yesterday, what you did was wrote definition strategies for a topic, and you wrote an expository paragraph. So you practiced that writing. Today we're going to gather more information. So activity 113 is going to help us with our embedded assessment two ways. First, it's going to help us get more of our own personal definition of heroism started. So you're going to be seeing ideas, and those ideas are going to go into your head, and you'll think, hey, I also believe that same idea. I might use that to define heroism. So the first purpose is definition of heroism. The second EAT purpose up there says examples of heroes. So we're going to be looking at historical heroes, real-life heroes. Before we read our informational text and that poem today, there's a little before reading that we have to take care of. All the before reading is, it's actually talking about our in from earlier. So, John, can you read number one for us in the before reading box? Oh, not box, subheading. Okay, so your in question asked you what you know of the Civil War and Abe Lincoln. I want to hear what you remember from seventh grade. You spent three weeks on this topic. There must have been at least one piece of info you picked up from both of these. John, what about the Civil War? Did you write that? It wasn't fought for civil rights necessarily, but it had, did have to do with the rights of individuals to a degree. What do you remember about the Civil War? Uh, okay, so let me come back to you and you've got some Abe Lincoln ideas. Thomas? Uh, the Civil War was um, started because um, the South didn't want to uh, end. Number one, the states wanted their own rights, but the South wanted um, to keep slavery. <laughs> Okay, so these are ideas to write down that I'm putting on. War right between the North and the South. The North was the Union, the South was the Confederacy. How much we know for sure. We know that the North and the South had different ideals. What else do you remember about just the Civil War in general? Nothing else? Okay. Let's give one more idea. Johnny's like really thinking hard here. The charge of, was it picket? Picketing. I'm not recalling off the top of my head. It's been a while since I've done any civil war -ness. Let's go with one more idea. Avery, what's one more idea about civil war? <laughs> That's a nice basic concept, but you can go much further than that. All right, let's go ahead and move on. Let's talk about Abe Lincoln. Now, I don't want those ideas. If he's going to say, there are those. He's not a penny. They made a movie about him being a vampire slayer. Now, let's think about this man in terms of that era of the Civil War. Jessica, what do you remember? He was assassinated. What else? She's out. He was assassinated at Ford's Theater. Brianna? He was the 16th president. Yes, he was assassinated by John Wilkes Booth. You're absolutely right. 
John? Okay, again, civil rights, you're thinking of time frame of the 60s. Thinking of a time frame of the 60s. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the third and the fourth topic here, which you may or may not remember a whole lot about from your studies of the Civil War. Emancipation Proclamation. I'll get you started. It was a document. The Emancipation was a document that was written by and read by Abraham Lincoln. What was the content of this document? Nick? Uh, it said that all states were now free. States of the South were now free. Okay, and that's going to bring us to Frederick Douglass. You may have touched on this individual in seventh grade. You may not have. But the few pieces of information that I'm going to provide to you, number one, he was a freed slave. So he was an African American and he was a black man. Frederick Douglass also was a very educated man. Frederick Douglass gave lectures. Unbelievably rare. That man had more knowledge than 75% of the white community in the United States during that time. Talk about a rarity. All right, we're going to go ahead and move on to our during reading section. There's three things that we're going to have to take care of, or three tasks that we're going to have to take care of while we're reading. So, can you read number two for us, please, Michael? What's one of our tasks to take care of while reading? Okay, so one of the tasks we have to take care of is we have to think about Lincoln as a heroic figure. That's our first task while we're reading. Okay, our second task. Jordan, read our second task while we're reading. You've got it. So our second task is to answer kid questions, and we're taking care of a TP cast. I said it before. I'll remind you. It's written on the board. TP cast quiz. You guys are taking a quiz during this period on your analysis of the poem. So the third and final task. Go ahead and read that third and final task for us, Anthony. Uh, as you read, think about how you can use information Third task to think about. You're using this information for your definition of heroism. So these are the three tasks. What I'm going to have to do now is turn the page and grab a highlighter.